You know, this time I just want to feature, you know, four albums which are very popular, you know, among the jazz collectors. Uh, yes, Japanese pressings. Hi, this is Takashi Nino from Jazz Blues Japan. Yeah, as I said, you know, uh, I will just feature four albums which, is, which I think are very popular among the jazz collectors. Not only here in Japan, but also the other, you know, countries in the world, all over the world. Yeah, albums are these. Yes. Yeah. I'll show you one by one. <laughs> yeah, this is the Matador and uh, Solid. You know, by the way, all these, you know, four albums are by the uh, Grand Green, you know, Nigeria. And Gurren's Corner. You know, all of these are Japanese pressings, as I said at the beginning, and by the King Record. Blue Note Unissued Master Series. And very popular series, and uh, all the titles are po popular, you know, among the jazz collectors, especially nowadays, you know. And some of the titles are, you know, I don't know, the premium prices, you know, the prices go up high, very high, really, especially with the OB, like these ones. Yeah. And uh, as you know, the Grand Green, um, is very popular among the uh, the other titles. I mean, among the titles present in this series, in the Blue Note Unissued Master series, and I think you know all the jazz, all the you know Grand Green albums in the series are very popular and uh, yeah, you know, high prices, really. Um, I think that one of the the most popular one, Matador, right? And talking about the Matador, this one, um, King Record first uh, issued, not reissued, because that's the first time, you know, to uncover those, you know, uh, unknown sessions by the Grand Green at that time on the Blue Note. So they issued the first Matador with the serial GXF, but this one particular copy is GXK. So I think, you know, at the time of the release in the late 70s, you know, this title was very popular. So that's why uh, later years in the early 80s, they also reissued this Matador with a GXK serial. And this is a GXK serial. Um, in terms of the sound quality, I don't think there is any difference. Yeah, they use the same master and uh, yeah, the source. So both are great, you know, in terms of the pressing quality and also the sound quality. That's Matador. But the rest of the titles I have, three one, three, three titles, like Solid, um, you know, in the early 80s with the GXK serial, they issued for the first time. And there is no reissue available. This GXK is the only, yeah, serial that is present uh, available on the market. So this is the the one and only solid uh, uh, by the uh, Grand Green, you know, King Record GXK, uh, Blue Note Ancient Master Series, okay? And this one also, Nigeria. By the way, I always wonder why they put the title Nigeria, you know? If you look at the, uh, the songs presented in this album, and whenever you... <laughs> You, you try to get information about this title, Nigeria. There is no connection in between the, <laughs> this title and uh, you know, the sessions presented in this album. Very funny. Uh, that is another myth. You know, I always wonder why they put the title Nigeria. Nigeria, as you know, is one of the countries in Africa. I don't know why they put the title Nigeria. In case you know, uh, the behind the scenes story of this title, Nigeria, let me know. I, I don't know. You know, very <laughs> unique title, right? And this one, uh, sorry, uh, this is Solid and uh, yeah, this one, Gurren's Corner. Gurren's Corner, I think, is very popular among the ja I mean, the Grand Green albums in the Blue Note Unissued Master series, right? Yeah, great album. And the other one, um, I don't have it, but um, the other one is also very popular. You know, the title is Remembering, you know? Yeah, it's a great album too. 
And I always wonder why, you know, those great sessions were broke down, you know, were never released by the Blue Note, original Blue Note US at that time, you know, in the 60s, uh, at the time of the recording, you know, those great sessions. But, you know, thanks to the King Record, you know, that they, you know, uh, issued these great sessions with, um, you know, Blue Note Ancient Master Series, right? And, yeah, I, I think, you know, these uh, titles, uh, with, especially with Obi, I think are very rare, you know. Nowadays on the market, even here in Japan, you know, becoming very, very hard for you to find a good copies like this. Yeah. So, in case, yeah, you find it or find them on the market, I think uh, yeah, they are all great, you know, especially the King Record version. Mm. And later years, as you know, I think United Artists, you know, reissued those King Record Blue Note Ancient Master series. Uh, not all of them, but, you know, some of the titles like Solid, I think, you know, I, I saw it on the market. Yeah, but still, King Record version is, I think, is far much better. That's what I think and I feel. Okay, that's it for today. I hope you like it. And uh, lastly, I always keep praying, wishing you guys, family members, co-workers, everybody to be safe in this situation. Please continue staying safe. And always remember that we are connected with the music, with love, with jazz music. Uh, thanks for watching today. And I'll see you next time.